What's up everybody? It's your girl Riva. I'm back again with another video. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I am here to give you guys my full honest feelings, opinions, everything about this video that I'm about to play. Um, and for those of you who have been messaging me wondering where I am, I took a little break. Okay. I took a little break. I always think that it's very necessary that sometimes, you know, you just take a break, step back, focus on the things around you and then come back full throttle. Right? So your girl is back. Okay, um, I saw this video again when I was scrolling through the wonderful world of TikTok. Um, this is rapper, actress, YouTuber, light skin Keisha. Um, and I saw this and I not only saw the video, but I also went into the comment section and saw the comments as well. So I'm going to go ahead and press play for those of you who were not able to see this. And then I'm going to give you guys, like I said, my opinions, feelings, all that after. Um, and if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. So let me just go ahead and jump right into the video. Baby, I could be out with my friends and we could be having a blast. But the minute that my man calls, huh? You say what you want me to come with? I'm out. Me and Turner. Ah, I'm out. Period. Baby, where are you going? To my man. To my man. You always with him. You was just with him. I don't care. I'm going to be with him. And I'm going to be with him again after that. And again after that. And again after that. Because that's my man. I'm out. Turn up with y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Period. Like. <laughs> so. I fully agree. Right. So she's saying it doesn't matter where, when, who, what, when, where, or how. Right. If she is in a space and, you know, she gets that phone call from her man stating that, you know, hey, I'm here or whatever, she's going to leave. Right. She's going to leave whatever the situation is, the party, the this, the that. And she is going to go tend to the needs of her man. I think that's normal. Right. I think that's a logical situation. And all I saw in the comment section was, uh, people, okay, women, all I saw were women who were constantly saying, oh, you know, that's why if she was my friend, I wouldn't invite her out. I can't stand when females do that. I can't stand when you have to be all up under your man. Why can't you have a girl's night? Why do you always have to come and leave? If that's the case, I'm not inviting you anymore. And I think that's very telling, right? I think that's a very obvious sign that a lot of people have not experienced loving, happy, healthy relationships. Okay. Cause the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't clearly don't. <laughs> okay. Because they're so quick to tell you why you always with your man, why you have to leave early, you know, as just like, um, Keisha was saying, why do you have to run up behind him? You were just with him last night. How come he called you and you have to leave us now? You know why? Because I enjoy his company. I enjoy his company. I enjoy spending time with him. I enjoy being around him. I feel safe around him. A lot of your homegirls are going to leave the, uh, hanging out with you guys, hanging out with the girls, any chance that they get. Um, to go be with their spouse because they don't even really trust you 100% because you move shaky if we're keeping it 100. Sometimes y'all don't even got it together, okay? You want to have fun. You want to turn up. You want to drink until you can barely remember what's going on in the evening. You want to stay out. You know, this club is over. You want to go to the next one and go to the next one and you want to stay all the way up until the sunrise. It's not... Anybody else's fault that you are trying to hide behind the partying with your homegirls because you don't necessarily want to go home because your home is not your safe haven, your safe space, your happy place. That's no one else's problem. <laughs> if she wants to be with the company of her man, Again, I think people who have been in happy, healthy relationships who are actually a friend to their spouse completely understand that. Nine times out of 10, they would rather stay home with their spouse than hang out with their friends anyway. And that goes for male or female. 
Again, when it's a healthy space, when it's a happy space. The only time that you want to be all out in the club and you don't want your friends to leave you is because the more company you have, the more whole you feel because you have so many people surrounding you and you don't have to be alone with your own thoughts or your own feelings. Your your own emotions, the real truth, the, the fact that you're really unhappy, but you're pretending that you're happy. I always I always looked at the the females who were who were so quick to be like, "Oh, why are you going with your man? Why are you leaving? Why you always have to uh-uh, this is this, this is that. Oh, why do you have to bring him? Why does he have to?" I've always looked at those females sideways because more times than not, a lot of those females are envious of the fact that you have that bond in your relationship. A lot of those uh females again have never experienced wholeness in their relationships. A lot of them Whenever you have an issue, you can, you know, just be sure to know <laughs> that if you ask them for advice, they're going to be the quickest ones to tell you why you should leave him, why he not good enough, why you deserve better, why you this. No, girl, you're always right. Leave him. You know, the the most common saying, F that N. If y'all know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That's like the lingo. You know, who cares? You can spend time with me. Who cares? You don't need him. I'll I'll be here for you. I'll hang out with you. Essentially, what they're saying is, I'll be your man. You don't need him anyway. And you know why you don't need him? Because I don't have a man either. So now we can spend way more time together if he's not around. That's what they will do. And I really, I really, really love that like that Keisha is one of the type of people who comes out and she's, you know, constantly um, talking about keeping the relationship first, right? Keeping that respect first, keeping um, your partner first, above all, understanding your spouse, because she is one of the very few who are, um, again, like rapper you know, actress, all that, that is publicly saying these things and facing a lot of the comments. I'm sure she sees them, the backlash to this, to that, and is still standing strong like, "Mm mm-hmm, yeah, that's what I said. Because a lot of women think it's not cool when you're down with your man. A lot of women, based on society, based on being a city girl, based on hot girl summer, based on all of these things, feel like if you are supportive to your man, if you love your man, if you genuinely enjoy his company, if you feel safe with him, if you feel this, if you feel all these normal feelings, that something is wrong with you. And it won't be soon before long before he disappoints you. You're doing these things for no reason. You look dumb. In my past, I've literally had had a quote unquote friend say, oh, you why are you talking to him so nice on the phone? I, no man could ever have me open like that. But you don't have a man. <laughs> but the point is, you don't have a man. So why why are you trying to dictate how I speak to mine? That's what that's what the females do. Again, misery loves company. They want to act like they're so young and wild and free and having so much fun, but they wish they had what you had in the evening time. They wish that when you're leaving the club, they could be leaving the club too to go to their man, but they don't have that. So they want you to stay and act like you're single like them. This is one of the biggest reasons why it becomes this rift between your friends when you're in, in a really you know, strong, positive, committed relationship and they're still single or they're dating people but still acting very single. This is why that drift comes. More times than not, it's not the woman who's in the relationship that's causing the problems. It's the single women that are having issues. And if you're so single, living young, wild, and free, you're so happy and all this kind of stuff, why is it that you are so concerned with what this woman is doing. Because you wish you had that. You wish you had that, if we're being completely honest. This is why the friends drift. The married woman is like, I don't I don't get it, you know. They just don't understand. I, I, I can't 
be on the phone with you at four or five o'clock in the morning just talking about what's going on, what's going this. No, I can't just leave everything I'm doing and come over and stay the entire night and sleep over your house with you. No. <laughs> no, I can't just, you know, with no notice, no drop of the dime, just come in and do all these things when, you know, I have plans and I live with my spouse and we have our own ideas and things that we have to do, things that we're trying to rectify. No, I can't do that. It's not just about having kids. Some people think that if you're in a relationship with somebody and you have no kids, that means that you can just be young, wild, and free. It's not that big of a deal. No. Especially when you're in the building stages. You don't have time for that. Spreading your energy out, you know, with this homegirl, that homegirl, this brunch, this lunch, dinner, movie night. You don't have time for that. And again, I'm going to say, the girls that get it, Get it. And the girls that don't, it, we get it. We know that you don't. <laughs> we know that you don't get it. Based off of all the comment sections that I've seen um, with this video. Just to be clear. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is at R I V A H underscore j-o-r-d-o-n thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. love you